Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties video and it is a little bit late but nonetheless this is my October empties. I guess I just had some really full items this month because I don't really have that many empties to show you guys so hopefully I have some more the next few months but for right now this is my empties and I'm excited. I'm always excited to show you guys what I have used up and talk a little bit about them. So let's start out with the makeup bits. I keep them separated in this small bag because they get lost in this big basket here. And I really want to do them together so this is what we are working with. If you saw my panning games update for my Project Pan, you would know that I have finished off my Neil & Shure extension mascara. This was nothing special at all. It was a very dry mascara and I don't really like that. I felt like it was expired just the same time I opened it and the brush didn't do anything for me at all. And now it's just flaky, so that's that. It did an okay job lengthening my uh, lashes, but separating and stuff, not really. I would not buy that again. Neil Shore in Denmark is not cheap, so I rather want to use another mascara for way less money that actually does something for my lashes. I used up this and this is so old so it's only a good thing. It is the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops in Lightning and I'm pretty excited about it because that means that I am using up my foundations and make them match my skin tone. So yeah, this is used up and I have another one going. And this is very nice because it comes with a dropper and you can control how much you want to get out but when it go when it's low it's very hard to get something out <laughs> and it was a struggle but I got everything out that I could get out. I finished an eye primer. Finally I have been working on this for like a year or something maybe more. This product is the Soeva eyeshadow fix long wear matte eyeshadow primer. I didn't mind it took so long but in the end, I really wanted to move on, you know. I'm using one eye primer at a time because that is just the easiest. They don't last forever, you know, because it's a cream product. It is a primer that has some coverage to it. So if you have some veins on your eyelids or something, this will cover it. And I just love this product and I will definitely buy this again when I run out of eye primer, which will be in like four years or something because I have four eye primers left. So. But I would look forward to buying this again. I would recommend this if you are looking for an eye primer. And I believe it's not that expensive. Then I used up the W7 Nail Treatment. It is a diamond strength hardener for your nails. This didn't do anything nice for my nails actually. I just used it because I had it. I thought it was like a base coat for my nail polish. But then I bought an actual base coat for my nail polish. and. It lasts twice, maybe three times longer than when I used this one. So this definitely didn't do anything. Um, let's move out some of the boring things. I used a pack of cut buds up because I use them every single day. I use a toothpaste up because my mouth hygiene is on point, you know. This is a dry shampoo that I bought in Germany. It is from DM. It is called the Belea dry shampoo. It is in German, but this is the best version of a dupe for the Batiste dry shampoo that I have found. And this was very, very nice, but I don't like the scent at all. This is doing a very nice job. And if I can't find the Batiste, I'm going to buy this one. But you can only buy this in Germany and that sucks a little bit. More for my hair. I have a hair color because I dyed my hair a few weeks ago. It is one I buy in Germany as well. It's very, very cheap and it is actually quite amazing how cheap it is. It is a hair color from Poly Palette and it is in 750 Choco Brown. It is looking like this. This is the only eye hair that I, I use so I really need to stock up because this was my last one. So when I go to Germany or maybe I can buy it online, I really hope I can. Then we have these. These are the Glitter Venus uh, shaving heads, something for my shaver. I forgot the name all of a sudden. 
but I used up this pack of eight. Finally, long time coming, but I used up this pack. This is not my favorite one. I really like the pink one that is called Spa Breeze. I believe this is just a regular shaving head thingy um, without any soap or anything on it. I like the ones with the soap bar on it. My skin just like that better than these. Some soap I have used up. It is this one from CN or something. It is the Beauty Soap Milk and Honey flavored scented and i use this to clean my brushes and i have used my second one of this so i need to stock up now if i don't have any more and i need to clean my brushes really soon i have two uh, body lotions here i have a small sample that i got from a hotel when we stayed in london a few years ago this has been in my travel skincare toilet toiletry bag i don't know what it's called but it is this one Sailor of London or something and it is all gone. I can't get that small bit out. Then we have this one and I'm very excited about this body butter because this has been... I have been working for this like for two, three months now. It is the Placia Pomegranate... 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 Uh, pomegranate body butter for dry skin. I have really dry skin except on my arms, so I don't use the body butter on my arms, which is really, really funny. But I love this scent of pomegranate. It's just beautiful. I love it. Let me smell it one more time. It's just beautiful. Like, it's all gone. This was originally white, but I mixed in a liquid highlighter, so it was pink and it gave me a shine and it was beautiful and I loved it. And this is limited edition, so I don't believe I can buy it anymore, but it was beautiful and I love it so much. And it is a Danish brand, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, it is. So, I really, really love this, but I have so much body lotion that I need to go through. And it's kind of ridiculous because I don't really go through body lotion that often. But when I really stick to it, I can use it up in two months <laughs> so i only use body lotion when i get out of the shower and i actually have created a habit to do so now so maybe i can go through my lotions a little bit faster than i used to so yeah this was my last item i don't have any more in my basket here yeah i didn't use up a lot but i did use up a body lotion which is the most exciting part of this empties video i think so hopefully you enjoyed anyway and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos of mine next month of empties for example and yeah i really hope you will stick around on my channel it would mean a lot to me and until my next video please take care bye